Good afternoon. My name is Peter Miller, and I am the Dean of the Bard Graduate Center. And on behalf, on behalf of Susan Weber, uh, the director and founder, it's my pleasure to welcome all of you here today. Uh, and it's a pleasure to be here physically today. That's, of course, relevant to the theme, um, but it's also relevant to, to being here and what we talk about on West 86th Street. Uh, and as a historical and historically minded institution, uh, I am mindful of the fact that on West 86th Street, on the island of Manhattan, Manahata, we are in Lenape Hoking, the ancestral lands of the Lenny Lenape. And we are also down the street from what was once Seneca Village, uh, where Central Park is now. And so we kind of sit across the crossing of these two axes, these scars uh, uh, of American history. Um, the question of the availability of um, digital materials is something that we have thought about here quite extensively from before the pandemic. And it's in some sense, very much anchored in the nature of what we work on. Three-dimensional objects are, well, let's say were, historically extremely difficult to reproduce in sufficient, uh, with sufficient data for anyone to appreciate them. Whereas paintings or drawings could easily uh, be slipped into the reproductive uh, image systems of the 20th century slides or photography and studied from afar, three-dimensional objects fare much more poorly for that. The other thing that uh, BGC does and takes very seriously is exhibition making. And exhibitions as spatial as well as performative operations similarly fail the test of uh, two-dimensional imagistic reproduction. So for us, the advent of digital technologies is uh, a topic of crucial importance. Um, and the pandemic just made all of that much more obvious. So uh, I'm very much looking forward to what all of you will be presenting and the kinds of conversations we will be having today, not only for their value as intellectual conversation, something that we appreciate here very much, but also much more directly for practical tidbits and nuggets that can be put into practice here. Uh, in the months and years to come. And so with that, it is my great pleasure to call upon my colleague, the Director of Digital Humanities and Digital Exhibitions at the Bard Graduate Center, Jesse Mirandi, to begin this afternoon's symposium. Jesse. Thank you so much. It's so great to see everybody here today uh, in person. We are excited to have you join us back at BGC for our many events. And um, this, one, this event was one that is very personal to me, obviously, because we are focusing on digital. But also, it is a um, symposia that was started by the late David Jaffe, who is a good friend and colleague. And so I always like to note, note him and uh, think about his legacy as we continue to do work in the present. So. I'd like to thank Peter, uh, Peter Miller and Susan Weber for uh, supporting the digital initiatives here at BGC, which have continued to grow and flourish as time has gone on. And I really appreciate that support. Um, Jocelyn Lau for the awesome uh, poster and graphics design for the event. And also I'd like to thank Laura Minsky and Jen Hoff who have helped coordinate and organize the event as well. A lot of that work behind the scenes. Thanks to the live stream folks for making that happen and to our facilities team for setting up here again in person. So the pandemic has created an unprecedented set of challenges for cultural institutions over the past two years. As many institutions were forced to close their doors uh, their digital platforms, tools, and personnel were relied on to communicate and interact with audiences, share resources, collaborate, and develop new and existing projects. In 2020 at BGC, we were preparing to launch I, the Eileen Gray exhibition in our gallery when we were forced to close our doors. Working closely with our curatorial design and public programming teams, we began to look for a plan of action through a sea of questions. What could we accomplish remotely? 
What resources did we have available? How could we make the most out of the moment or even better, turn the moment into a positive? In the end, we created an online exhibition website that featured and repurposed many existing exhibition materials, such as wall text, labels, tombstones, and installation photos. We then utilized digital tools to generate new perspectives, connections, and methods to explore the objects which sat in our closed gallery. A constellation of online public programs and education materials emerged as well to further engage our visitors and provide learning opportunities for educators and learners during the pandemic. This work also led to conversations about the future of digital work at the Bard Graduate Center. The experience led us to imagine each, each exposition, <laughs> exhibition as a unique opportunity to share our research and scholarship with a wider audience online. As a method to preserve the ephemeral labor of exhibitions as an institutional record and as a valuable resource for researchers. It also sent us back into our archives where we became inspired to revitalize past exhibitions with new voices and materials that would leverage the digital as well. It was a moment where the world around us felt simultaneously like it was shrinking and instantly expanding at the same time. On the one hand, we pulled together as an institution to focus on our work and deal with the unprecedented challenges as a tightly knit group. And at the same time, our inboxes were flooded with the incredible work that other institutions were producing, new projects that showed the same determination to create something meaningful in an uncertain world. Now it finally feels like the right moment to gather together again, see one another, pause and reflect, and finally share the stories and celebrate that work that came out of this moment. We now have an opportunity to look together at those hard learned lessons and hard earned successes. Nothing, <clears throat> noting what worked and leaving behind what didn't. This symposium features speakers from New York City museums who will share how their institutions responded to the pandemic, how it shaped and redefined their work and the new pathways and connections it created for the futures of their institutions. We are so excited to have you here with us today, and we have an incredible panel uh, gathered to present. Just a quick note, we're going to have two speakers and then take a break, um, and then the final two speakers. And at the end of each speaker, we'll have a moment for one or two questions. But following the four presentations, we'll have a panel where all the speakers will gather with me, and you'll have a chance to also ask questions at that point, too.